hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how we can perform sql query operation in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorial and this method can be used across all the odoo versions like odoo 10 11 12 13 and 14 and in the upcoming versions also you can use this functionality so we will be just discussing how we can trigger sql queries or how we can execute queries inside our odu code so if you are watching the channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to subscribe the channel and support us so let's see how we can execute the queries in odu so in order to illustrate the working of queries what i'll do is that here we have configuration here we have appointment menu and we have a cancellation here we can see we have getting a wizard and on clicking this cancel appointment button a method named action cancel is getting triggered so inside that method i'll be writing some queries and i'll be illustrating you how you can do that so if i go to the pycharm here we have the custom add-ons folder where the om hospital module is existing and i'll go to the wizard folder here we have cancel appointment py file so this is a transient model and here we have a function which getting executed on clicking this button so i'll be writing a couple of lines of code here in order to illustrate the working of query so first of all i'll write a query as follows simply i'll define a variable and you can put the comma like this three comma in the starting and in the ending and inside that you can write your query so if i need to select uh, patients from my database the select query i'll write as follows select name from hospital dot patient so if you are new to sql and if you don't know how to write a query we already have made a video about the basics of sql query feel free to watch that i will be adding that video link in the description section so here i am writing a select query to select a name from the table hospital dot patient just i am assigning the query to a variable named query now in order to execute that you have to execute like this self dot env cr the cursor dot execute then pass the query so this is how we can execute a query self.env from the environment we will be getting a cursor database cursor dot execute then we will be dynamically passing the query so either you can give like this or you can directly without a variable you can give like this so i'll prefer as a variable i'll give like this so simply we have written like this query returning here execute now if i run this i have just restarted service as i have made changes inside the python and if i go to the ui and if i click on the cancel appointment in order to cancel i have to select an appointment because it's a mandatory field and if i click on cancel appointment you can see the function has been triggered and there is no result so you may think where we will be getting a result we just executed the query so in order to get the result we have to fetch those result so i'll add a new variable patients equal to self dot env cr dot fetch all so this is the command then like this self dot env cursor dot fetch all so fetch all will be getting the result of this execution and let's print the variable named patients so here i'll print the variable named patients and if i restart again and let me go to the ui configuration sorry appointments cancellation select an appointment click on cancel appointment and here we have an error message so let's check fetch all so there is a spelling mistake in i have written it is f e t c h i have just written wrongly that's why we have received error now if i come back and let me trigger the cancel again and if you check the log 
you can see you are getting the result as follows test 2 apple shell or methods fruits new test om videos which are the names of patients inside the database you can see om pineapple orange grapes etc so you can see this is the result that we are getting from the query which is the query we have written select name from hospital dot patient if i need to get id also i can put id comma name and if i execute let's see the result so i'll go back here again cancellation let me trigger by clicking this button and you can see the result is coming as tuple id and name 76 that is the id so if i go to the instance and yeah you can see it's 76 and you can see test 2 which we are getting as a tuple so currently fetch all method is returning as a tuple there might be case where you have to get it as a dictionary so if you need to get it as a dictionary you can call dict fetch all instead of fetch all you can pass dict fetch all so you will be getting the result as a dictionary so currently the format is as follows it's hard to understand which is id which is name now let's restart and see what difference it makes so cancellation select an appointment cancel appointment and here you can see the result is coming as a list of dictionary id is 76 name is test 2 so this is the dict fetch all method then there is one more case fetch one which will return only single record currently we are getting multiple records and in case if you need only a single record uh, there we can use dict fetch one so let's try that and see so let me trigger that again you can see it's returning a single record only then what we can say this is how we can write query so then people will ask how we can pass dynamically value into query so what you can say here we have appointment and let's instead of taking from patient let's fetch from hospital appointment here we can fetch appointment select id name or i can take id and patient id it's a field from what we have to do we have to dynamically pass so if i come to the cancellation pop-up here we are selecting an appointment i need to get the patient from the selected appointment then in that case you can add a work condition where along with the query i'm passing a work condition where appointment id not appointment id id equal to percentage yes you can put a percentage yes here and pass the value to that variable by putting a percentage sign here self dot appointment id dot id so what happens is selected appointment id will be coming here and it will be replaced here in the percentage is so let's see what happens now so instead of fetch one i'll put fetch all let's restart and see this result so id equal to percentage is which will be replaced by this one now let me go here click on cancel appointment there is no issues and if i check the log you can see patient id is three so let's go to which one we have chosen i'm not remember so you can see you are getting results successfully so this is how you can pass then if you have multiple condition like if you need name equal to percentage yes one condition then here what you can do put this next column or control z put it as a tuple add a tuple then put the next variable name here self dot name so first percentage is will be replaced by this one and next variable will be replaced by this so this is how we can execute query in odoo just write a query self dot env cr dot execute in order to get the result use dict fetch all or fetch all to get the result so instead of self dot env cr dot execute you can write the same like this also self.cr instead of env we can get self.cr also 
it will also work correctly so let me remove this condition that i have written and here i can put so for single tuple you can put like this but it will be showing as remove redundant parameters parenthesis so if it is single record we don't need to put in a tuple can keep like this and let's restart and let me try with self.cr so let me go ui appointment cancellation here i'll choose 32 op 0032 create appointment and if you check the result you can see patient id is 16 so let's take appointments and 32 and if i open the patient you can see id is 16 which we are getting here so i hope you understood how to execute query in Udu. so if you have any doubts feel free to ask us directly under the comment and we will try trying to reply you as soon as possible and if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by sharing the videos in your social media social media and with your Udu friends and also recently we have started memberships in the channel so please click the join button and you can join the channel to get early access to some of our videos and to see member only videos so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you